Let me tell you, even in Yorubala, let me tell you what they will do to Ibo this yeah. time. What yeah. Oba of Lagos said that we are pushing them to the ocean. Most of these markets that are banning in Lagos, look at it, they are Ibo dominated markets. You yeah. get me? They, yeah. they, they, they are, they, in fact, some Yorubans were telling me when I was in Lagos last weekend that it is we, the Northerners, when we are in charge of Lagos as federal capital, that open room yeah. for Ibo to come and dominate them. And it's over yeah. now. And it's over. <laughs> <laughs> All the businesses Ibos are doing, we are going to bring it and do it. <laughs> do you get me? That's why you Buhari have to sign that Lagos is going to be given special status. Mm. We are going to have a kind of semi-regional system. Lagos mm. is going to have special status. It means nobody again will control Lagos. The indigenous of Lagos are the ones that are going to control Lagos. They can form mm. land policies. Do you get me? They may decide yeah. to say, you as a Yoruba man in Lagos, you will pay 5,000 Naira per annum for a land. As mm. Me as yeah. a house man, I will pay 10,000 Naira. Ibo man will pay 1 million Naira. <laughs> this is why they are heading for. <laughs> and I'm telling you, after four years, so at least not we are liberal, but in the South West Kule, after four years, Ibos mm. can never be use, useful, uh, relevant again in the southeast. Wait and see. Mm. Mm. Then, in fact, the plan is the plan of APC is that they are going to make alliance of northwest economic development. Mm. The west has the ocean. Can you hear me? Yes. The north has agricultural produce. Yes. So what they are going to do? They are, the government is going to develop all the agricultural and mineral resources in the north. And then mm. they will put primary industries here and then go yes. and export, the, finally finish them in Lagos or Southwest and export them and bring back the money and share it between the two regions. Let them bring their oil. This is the plan on ground. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching that video. Now you can understand what we have been saying all this while. That was your vice president. This was what he said why he was a governor. And that is what they are practicing today. In that video, he claimed that he was to be chased out from Lagos. That they are willing to do the business he was are doing in Lagos. That they will never allow he was to occupy Lagos again. He also said that they would do it to the extent where a Fulani man pay 12,000 Naira and Igbo man will pay 1 million. This is art of jealousy and wickedness. That same man is your vice president today. And you saw what happened during the presidential election and also the governorship election how Igbos were macheted because they wanted to vote for candidates of their choice they were castigated macheted forced out of polling boot even to this extent they were attacking Yorubas who look fresh because they believe that they are Igbos Shetima believe that it is an easy job to rise as a businessman. So many people have tried and failed. That is one thing he does not understand. Buhari for so long wanted to tie Ibos down. It started long time ago when the accused Ibos of planning coup. Whereas that coup was planned by all Nigerians as soldiers. They called it Ibo coup. Why the one 
Buhari plan was not a Fulani coup. They call it Buhari coup. Why the Wuhan Babangida plan was not Fulani coup or not a coup, they call it Babangida coup. What about the one go on planned? Agrosi was key at the process. They call it Nigerian coup. They could not call it Northern. Rather, they call it Gawan's coup. But they fail to call the one they claim that uh, if I do not plan on Zogu, they fail to call it Zogu coup. Rather, they called it Ibo coup. Now you have understand what we have been saying here for so long that these people are tribalized no doubt we have good Yoruba people but the truth is this when your leaders are tribalized believe me nobody should blame anybody when they call you say that you are tribalized because the youth few of them can be tribalized because they are youth but when the real elders who call themselves leaders are tribalized, that means things are wrong. If I'm not mistaken, 70% of Yorubas are tribalized. And there are many in their leaders. That is the truth. This was why Obi mandate was sold to Tinibu. And the man like Tinibu who went into office through dubious means, is today doing everything possible to jam the Kano. After he did everything possible to make sure that Sadi Buho was released. And you can see that both vice and president are against Ibos. That Tudubu romance with people like us, them, David Omahi, does not mean that it does not hurt him. In fact, those two people are actually helping him to bring different problems to land. And this was why I said that those who are in head of affairs in this struggle are making some mistakes, especially some of them who claim that they have come for action. Rather, they go around killing market women, killing innocent Biafrans. Why they should be rolling drum of war against these leaders who are collaborating with Fulani terrorists, government, and people like Tinibu to kill Ibus and burn their houses in their own land. For example, Hopos Dama. I've said this before. That if I, I am somehow one of those who are head of affairs in this struggle, and all the whole money being donated. Believe me, someone like Hopos Dema will not be leaving governor's house because he will be captured. It doesn't matter how many escort follows him. It doesn't matter how many soldiers follows him. I am a soldier boy. I was a soldier boy. And I know how they rule. So many things has gone wrong. Ibos are suffering. Mazen and the club being held in custody of DSS, even after court has set him free. Eurobars lied about the coup because they were the ones who were actually in media then. That coup was planned by all the military men from different places. Ibos may be majority. But that coup was planned to install Olowo as the president of Nigeria. Ibo did not say that. Rather, Yoruba man wrote it even in his book. A man that was part of the so-called coup. Now you begin to understand what Ibo's are going through. When Fulani man planned coup, it is the name of the Fulani man that will be registered in that coup. When Igbo's, Igbo man plan coup, they will not register his name. Rather, they will say it is Igbo coup. So what the hell are we talking about? 
How can this country work? A country that is filled with tribalism. That is what we are saying. You saw what's happening in the election, like I said. How about Femi Kayode? Who pretends all these four years that I continue to say that this man is not clean? How he castigated the boys because why? Because Tidibu stole Pitobi's mandate. Everything happening in Nigeria today is because of the stolen mandate. That is why people are suffering. That is why Tinibu doesn't know his left and right. And he could know that way until the end of time. Shetima left Nigeria, went to Israel, went to United UN, I mean, to support Palestinians against, against Israelites. These are people whom terrorists in their land, they left their land, went to Israelite to kidnap their children, murder them in cold blood. Their friends have not done something like that. But upon that, Nigerian government continue to frustrate them, to kill them in cold blood, to burn down their houses. But look at what was done by a Palestinian terrorist. You can call them anything as far as I'm concerned. When you have a terrorist in your land, especially as just like us now, the Northerners in Nigeria have Boko Haram and flying terrorists. They supposed to be responsible for them. And when anything happens, goes wrong, they are them. That is the truth. You cannot disassociate them because they were aware that they have terrorists and they allowed them to go to another person's land to murder people. Like I said, if Biafran people are the people that this such thing, believe me, Igbo land will be burning down by now. Now you understand how this country is filled with tribalism. All the Hotin Shetima said in that audio, nothing was done to him. Today he is your vice president. If an Igbo man was the person that was in that audio, believe me, no Igbo man would have even smear any position in Nigeria. What I'm going to say right now, don't get it twisted, but it's the truth. Some of you may not like it. You came out with P2B's audio saying, yes, daddy, yes, daddy. And that you have continued to spread everywhere on the internet. Do you know that that video was leaked by a pastor? Do you know that that video was leaked by a pastor? Some of you may be afraid to say that, but that is the truth. The same church that he was calling was the people that leaked that video. That is, was my investigation. I don't want to go around talking too much brabbing. You will hear anybody in the highest term. But as far as you are a Yoruba man, you have to understand that so many of your brothers are tribalized. But that does not mean that every Yoruba is tribalized. I think I've come to the end of this news. Thank you so much for watching.